So what we're seeing here is a tangent line example. An example that's been taken from the textbook. Okay. And we've had two previous YouTube videos on the computational computational aspects of uh, the tangent line. For example, that's where we started talking about the equation of the tangent line and how it was related to the derivative function. And we've also looked at the graphical, there's a graphical example where you know we have a function f of x and we know that what this equation star is the equation of is you pick a specific value that you're interested in, read the function up to this fun read the value up to the function. Here you are at f of a, and here's your tangent line, and you have the equation of it given equation given by equation star. But what we need to look at now is more, kind of more of a conceptual, a conceptual question. And, and that's what this textbook question is asking you. And let's see if we can take the two, uh, two ideas that we've been given here, computational and graphical, and see if we can extend them to the conceptual question that's being asked here. Okay. So, you've been given some information. The function in figure 2.2 has a function value. You know, they're not telling us what the function is, but they say the function evaluated at 4, f of 4, is equal to 25. And they're also saying that f prime of 4, the derivative of this function at 4, is equal to 1.5. So we have some stuff that's been given to us, and now they're saying find the coordinates of the point A, figure out what B is, and then figure out what C is. Figure out the coordinates of the point. Okay? One of these is really easy. I'll let you take a moment to think about that, which one it is. You can pause the video and put your answer in or think about the one that you think is easiest. Okay. So if you're coming back to this video now, here's the answer. Uh, I think the easiest one is the point A. A is the point for f of 4. And while we don't know the function, we do know that it is given by the point 4, comma 25, because that's what we were given in this problem, the function value. Okay. So now we need to find B, and we need to realize that you were also given that this line here is a tangent line. Okay. So you know its formula. Okay. This is where we need to bring in the computational aspects. So maybe it would just be go ahead and be a good idea to go ahead and find the tangent line and then see if we can answer what B and C are. Okay, So the equation of the tangent line is y is equal to the function evaluated at 4. This is a tangent line at the point x is equal to 4. That's where it's tangent. Plus f prime of 4 times x minus 4. So the equation of the tangent line will be 25 plus 1.5 times x minus 4. And there's the equation of the tangent line. How does that help us find the point B? Okay. One of the point, one of the entries of the point B is easy to fill in. I'll let you take a second to fill that in. You can pause the video if you need. Okay, if you're coming back to the video, uh, the easiest point part to fill in of B is that it's at an X value of 4.2. Okay, we're reading the graph up from X is equal to 4.2. 
The question is, what is its y value? Okay. But it's on the tangent line, and therefore, um, you need to put in, find the y value on the tangent line when the x value is 4.2. Okay. So the y value here is going to be 25 plus 1.5 times 0 0.2. And I will leave you to fill in that number. Okay, whatever that comes out to be on the calculator. In a similar fashion, C should work very similarly. C is at what x value? Okay. And pause the video if you need. What x value is the point C at? It's at an x value of 3.9 and its y value? Well, C is also along the tangent line. Okay. So you need to put its x value into the tangent line, which would be 3.9 minus 4. Okay, and you can fill in that number there. So this is a, a conceptual question that kind of mixes in computational and graphical aspects together to, uh, to test you on the tangent line concept. And that concludes this video.